Welcome to Generosity Week, day number three. Question, could doing acts of outrageous generosity help you be healthy on a cellular level? Turns out they can. Your body has about 30 trillion cells, but it has about 38 trillion bacterial cells. That sounds like bad news, except a lot of them help with your digestion. The bad news is your body has about 380 trillion viral particles in it. Have you ever felt like you're under attack? Guess what? You are. Those viruses are trying to get into your cells and kill you. Along with dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and washing away the cortisol, the most wonderful thing about outrageous acts of generosity, it helps promote the building of antibodies all through your body. And antibodies, number one, they block that bad stuff from getting into your cells. Think of a bunch of big, tall linemen trying to protect the quarterback. Number two, they surround the bad stuff before it gets into your cells. And number three, they kill the bad stuff. Acts of outrageous generosity will block, surround, and kill the bad stuff trying to get into every cell in your body. Did you do something outrageously kind for yourself yesterday? If so, you were blocking, surrounding, and killing the bad stuff. Did you do something outrageously generous for somebody else yesterday? If so, you were blocking, surrounding, and killing the bad stuff. Today is Giving Tuesday in the United States. And if you feel blessed, if you had good stocks this year, if you need a tax deduction, please consider giving to a charity you really believe in. Rich Learning International is trying to give access to excellence in a crazy, amazing metaverse where kids can sing and dance and play all together with friends from around the world. And if you believe education is a ticket out of poverty, would you consider an outrageous gift to Rich Learning International? Have a great day. Try to find a way to be outrageously generous. It's good for yourselves today.